Okay, a short video on how to turn a conversation, a uh, language conversation that you've got as an audio file, like that, into a set of Anki cards that look like this. Okay, here's how to do it. So you've got your original audio file. You want to open up Audacity and throw that file into there. Okay, so there it is. Now I'm going to talk about short keyboard shortcuts for Mac, but you can just translate them for PC if that's your poison. The first thing you want to do is select the whole audio track, Command A, go to Effects and Truncate Silence. What this does is just cuts out all the silence and it's going to make it a lot quicker for you to listen back through the recording. Click, usually the auto sets are pretty okay, so click okay. And as you can see, that has tightened it up and removed a lot of the silence. So from there, you can just jump to the front of the recording and hit play and you can just hit play by hitting the space bar. And then you can, and then you can listen back to your recording. And what you want to do here is just listen back and find any parts that you want, any really valuable sentences that you want to be able to remember and retrieve for the future. Now, two comments on how to do this because I've been doing this for a while now and I've found some patterns. Number one is if you just sit there and listen to the recording, it can get pretty boring. So I found it really valuable to listen to this recording at the same time as I do another task. So for example, every week on Saturday night, I always do my language exchange. So what I do is during the day on Saturday, I do my washing and then I actually do this editing at the same time as I hang my washing out. So I just hit play and listen to the back to the recording whilst I'm hanging out my washing. And then whenever I hear a sentence that I really want, I quickly run over to the computer and I then clip out the bits that I want. As well as this stopping it from being a bit boring, the other benefit that this has is it stops me from over sentence mining. So another pattern I found with myself doing was when I was doing this, I was actually picking up too many sentences out of a given conversation because I was right there and I was just basically looking for something to do. You're going to find the whole process more enjoyable and more sustainable if you pick out fewer sentences to use and just the high quality ones. So actually being away from the computer a little bit, you find naturally helps you to be more selective. So a few things about the keyboard here. When we play and pause, you generally want to use the P button. So I'll press P here and it plays and then I press P again and it pauses. If I hit the space bar, if I hit P and then I hit the space bar, that'll stop, but that'll take me back to where this cursor is and then when I hit the space bar again, it'll play back from here. So using the P plays it from this playhead and using the space bar plays it from wherever you've placed the cursor to like that. So the first thing you want to do is go along and try to find, you'll just be listening through but I've found one already, find a sentence that you want to use. So I think there's one at 155 here. Okay, so that's the one that I want to capture so I just use my cursor, grab there, drag across and press command B and then I'm going to label that sentence number one. And I just check that I've got what I wanted. Okay, so I found that. And then you just keep on listening through and you might find another sentence you like. So say I want that one and I can do that and then I'll label that too except I don't actually want to do that and so on and so forth. Once you've done as much of the recording as you want to, you're going to want to export what you've done. So just before exporting, you want to change one thing in your preferences audacity preferences and then you'll find that in under import and export this thing will be ticked and you want to untick that and that's just going to stop you from having a whole of your boxes to untick when you export so then go up to file so export export multiple choose where you want to save it I'll save it there enter a name prefix and then hit export and this is what that's created so you got your prefix and then it, it automatically adds a hyphen and then the one two three four five six seven eight nine from there you want to open up a blank spreadsheet and have some fields that match the fields within an Anki card that you're eventually going to use so for example this is my 
basic German card. I've got the English, the German, and the sound. Uh, and that's why I've got the English, the German, and the sound here. From there, you can just listen to each recording by itself and translate it. So let's have a listen to this first one. So it sounds like... There we go. So I'll keep my fingers crossed. Is it English? And in German? Ich drücke die Daumen. And then just keep doing that until you've got all of your sentences. Now we've got to do the sound part. So the first thing is to make sure our numbers match up with the numbers here. So we've got one, four, five, six, seven, nine. I deleted a couple of the sentences in between because I didn't want them. And now we, we could actually get the sound codes like this. We could just copy that manually and paste it in there. But there's a better way to do it. And, you know, if you've got this few numbers, you could just do it manually. But once you end up mining 30 sentences from a conversation or something like that, which is something I've done in in previous weeks, as you can see here, um, then you definitely want an automatic way to generate it. And you can use the following formula to do so. Okay, so let me just explain this. So Anki needs to call on a sound, so it says sound. Um, this is the prefix, MC11, and the hyphen. The text pulls from this cell, which we've just told it to pull the four. The zero zero says that if there's just a four in this cell, then we want the zero four rather than just four because that's how it's um, specified here. And then we end with our MP3. You know, you can copy it across, but you have to put in those those the sound colon and the square brackets above and below anyway. So you may as well just drag up there and then drag down there. And now we've got our info ready to import into Anki. What I would say is it's worth copying that and then paste as paste values only and that means that the next spreadsheet or Anki won't get confused at all. It may not be necessary but I always do that anyway. So the next thing is to save this as an actual CSV file which is a file that Anki can understand. So just paste what you've got into a new Excel document. File save as and I just say MC 11 for Anki and the most important thing is save as a CSV file from there all you have to do is go into Anki go file import navigate to your file and click open then we say all right we want the card type is German yep that's great the deck we're going to put in is this one. That's the one I want to put it into. Field separated by comma. And we want to map to English, German, and then sound. And that's exactly what we wanted. So we click import. And then we'll be able to see here. And we can click browse. And here are those six cards that we created. Now, if I preview these, you'll actually see that when I click the sound button, nothing happens. And that's because we haven't put the sound files into the Anki database on my computer yet. So let's do that now. Okay, so the way to do that is to open up another browser window and then go Go. Click the option key and that will show up library. This is a file path for a Mac. It will likely be different on a PC or another computer. Application support. Anki 2. Go to your profile. And then you need to drag those files into, I'm going to I'm gonna hold option so that it actually copies them and I keep the originals there as well, into your media collection. Okay, so that's in there now. Now if I go back to Anki, I should be able to preview again. And you can hear that now. So that's how you turn sound from Audacity into those flashcards. One final thing I'd also suggest is to actually export the whole file, export as MP3, and I'd say I'd say save it as MC11, um, silence truncated. 
and save it as an MP3. And then the the beauty of having it, the whole file as an MP3, is this is something that you can just listen to as you're walking around or doing something, and you can actually review the whole conversation and understand the context from which each of these snippets occurred. So moving forwards, you're gonna have on your phone or whatever you listen to your music on, this recording of the conversation, which you'll find it helpful to listen to for a few months and will kind of reinforce the vocab. And then you're gonna have your Anki collection as well, uh, where these words are get, words and sentences are gonna keep coming up and you're gonna be reinforcing this vocab in that dual manner. Hope you found this video helpful and good luck turning your language exchanges into Anki cards.